Hey there everybody, this is Tyler Jordan from Ragdoll Animation. You can check us out at www.ragdollanimation.com and or any of our social media websites. So this is a two-part series. Part uh, This is part of a two-part series. This is the second one. The first one was about how to do hotkeys and shortcuts on in 3 in 3 Studio Max. This one is in Cinema 4D. Um, Alright, so let's just dive right in. Uh, first off, if you don't like any of these hotkeys, you can change it. So go to Window, Customization, and then Customize Commands. And there they all are. So first thing I'm going to do is just going to make a box. Boom. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to start with the basics, which is uh, Undo and Redo. So if you move this over here, Undo is Control Z, Redo is Control Y. So if you move the viewport way over here, but you want it back, Control Shift Z is to go back. Control Shift Y is go to redo the viewport. Um, to copy and paste, you just Control C, Control V, copy, copy, paste. Um, or you can hold down control, click and drag. <clears throat> the next thing I'll talk about are the main tools up here. So the first thing is live selection tool, which is this one. It's actually the number number uh, nine. And then to increase and decrease that brush, the it's the bracket, left bracket and right bracket. So right bracket to bring it up, left bracket to bring it down. Lasso tool which is in, in here, right there, lasso tool is actually number eight to to make a uh, lasso selection. Uh, the move tool, which is just move tool, where I'm going left to right, move tool is E. Uh, scale tool is T, and rotation tool is R. So the next thing we're going to go over is are the views. So if you uh, right click your middle mouse button, if you have a middle mouse button, it will maximize whatever view you're hovering over. So let me just kind of rotate it so it's different in every view. Um, or or you can just press F4 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 <coughs> alright so so if you hover over it in page up you'll zoom into the one that you're selected or you're hovering page up page down to come back page up page down to come back sometimes it doesn't work I'm not sure why but yeah see it's working I have to pound my key but anyways that's just could be my computer just messing up um, you can also just press F3 through 4 to go through all views. So, I mean F1 through 4. F1, 2, 3, 4. So the next thing we'll go over is zooming. So H is zoom mode. It basically uh, zooms completely up. It zooms everything to maximize the viewport. Um, if you press uh, to, zo to zoom out, it's the minus button. To zoom in is not the plus sub button actually. It's shift plus. Kind of weird, but you can always you can always change it if you want. The next thing are um, the mesh view modes. You can also if you find them right here. So you go to display these modes right here, which changes it to the lines, the shading. Uh, lines 
it's very primitive, so you're not really going to see much with this cube at all. So if I just, I don't know, make it 5 by 5 by 5 So now if I put lines, you'll see all the lines. Anyways, so for uh, uh, grout shading, press N. You should have a pop-up with all your hotkeys. It doesn't show up when I'm recording, but trust me, it shows up. Um, N and then A. And then... <clears throat> for shading, grout shading lines, N and B. Uh, lines, N and G. Textures, I don't have any textures, but it's N and Q. So if I go back to A, N and Q, if there's textures, there would be textures, and X ray mode. So it's uh, N and R. N and R. Which is that mode. See how you can kind of see through it? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back to N and A. Get rid of, get rid of uh, the X-ray mode. Um, so the next thing we'll talk about is I'm gonna make another cube. I'm gonna make a few cubes actually. Come on, just making a few cubes. Making a few cubes. Good enough. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about is axis, axis modes, or well, I call them the axis mode. And it's up here. Oh, it's right here. One, two, a, B, uh, X, Y, Z. So if I just click on this, uh, yeah, click on this. Go to uh, to toggle the x axis. Press X. On and off toggle. On and off. The y axis is Y, and the z axis is Z. So X Y Z X Y Z. Just to toggle them. So I'm gonna put them all back on. Um, and then the coordinate uh, coordinate system mode, which is W, which is this right here. So what it is is so if you have something rotated like this and you wanted it to be in the scene to the exact X, Y, and Z uh, measurements in the scene, you, you press W <clears throat> and then you press it again to change it to like to a localized view where you would change it uh, depending on where however way you rotate it alright so the next thing is selection so control 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 A is to select all control shift A is to deselect next thing is animation so I'm going to zoom out a bit um, <clears throat> I just kind of I just leave that there, and uh, F9 is to make a key, so I made a keyframe. Uh, contr control F9 is to turn on auto key, which is this right here. I'm going left to right, uh, auto key, and then just kind of move it, and then there you go. So I'm gonna bring this over here. <coughs> To go to the end frame, shift G. To go to the first frame of the entire animation, beginning frame, start frame, shift F. To play forward, uh, to play backwards is uh, F6. So now I'm playing backwards. To play forwards is F8. Uh, press it again to stop. Um, you can also hit the stop button, so if um, if I press F8, F7 stops it, or you can hit F8 again to stop it. Um, the next thing is to go forward and backward in frame. So it's G to go forward, F to go backward. Alright, so the next thing I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and just delete these an this animation. I'm going to go ahead and add some textures to the scene because it's getting a little boring. No reason. It's just getting boring. So, I'm going to 
turn off auto key. Uh, delete, delete, delete. Don't mind me, I'm just making the scene more interesting with boxes. Oh man, so interesting. Alright, so um, to make it an editable poly, just press C, boom, now it's an editable poly. Uh, next would be the <coughs> Next would be uh, a thing I use all the time where you would extrude the edges and the faces. So if you right click and then go to extrude, um, you could do that. Or you can hold down control. Uh, same thing with faces. So hold down control and you made a face. Next thing I will talk about is the selection select selection tools, which is M. Uh, a pop-up will come up and tell you everything that's going on in this selection tool uh, mode, where it's weld, magnet, knife, extrude. So be M W to extrude M. Q to, d to weld, etc. Um, next thing would be axis mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to deselect. Uh, axis mode is uh, L. So it's right here. It, it's the it's the axis that's within the middle. So if you move this way over here and then turn it off press L again to turn it off when you rotate it it rotates wherever that uh, the, the middle of the axis is uh, next one is the snap tool so it's, so it's P um, this time this pop-up is coming up I don't know why my recording is recording some of the pop-ups anyways so you click that and then you enable snap <coughs> uh, and then you snap it so I'm gonna go ahead and disable snap because I don't need it, it's also right here I don't need it um, so the next one I call it I, I call this one the project tools, I, I do this a lot these, these next few so control D is the project uh, settings which is also edit project settings and you know, where you can edit the dynamics the information the keyframes uh, the, and all of that uh, to make a new project control N uh, it made a new project and to, to, to close a project control W just like almost every Adobe project <clears throat> uh, program control W tends to get out of the view or whatever you have uh, to open a project control O and then boom you open up the project <clears throat> the last thing I will talk about are the render views so uh, to render this view right here it's gonna kind of Gonna, it's gonna do something with it. Boom, boom. Yeah, look at that stuff. Super, super interesting. Um, <clears throat> so the render view, to render this view is control. It's control R. Renders the view. To uh, render the view in the picture viewer is shift R. To open up in the interactive render region which I use all the time alt R and you can move it around render that region render that region render that region alt R to get rid of it and the uh, render settings of course you need that 
it's a uh, control B it's over here on my screen so turn it off control B and it turns it on all right so this concludes the end of this two-part series uh, the the first one that we did were in 3d studio max you can check it out below and this one is in cinema 4d uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial it was fun to make it's it's always fun to show people the, the hot keys because they are always asking how did you do that how did you do that really quick so I hope you guys enjoyed um, you can check us out at www.ragdollanimation.com where or you can uh, follow us on any of our social medias like comment comment subscribe to our Facebook Google Plus YouTube Vimeo all of that and I will talk to you guys next time see ya Thank <laughs> you.